UR Energy is actively developing uranium in situ recovery projects. In situ mining technology has been developed to recover uranium from naturally occurring roll front type deposits in the United States and around the world. First, let's explore how uranium roll front deposits form. Surface water flows into a porous and permeable sandstone aquifer. This groundwater contains dissolved oxygen and low concentrations of naturally occurring uranium which is kept in solution by the oxygen. As the groundwater migrates, the oxygen reacts with minerals and organic matter in the sandstone. Without oxygen, the uranium converts from an oxidized to a reduced chemical state and is no longer soluble in water. This oxidization and reduction process in the sandstone creates a roll front that moves slowly over millions of years while accumulating uranium all through the action of naturally flowing groundwater. The reduced uranium precipitates out in the sandstone. The contact between the reduced and oxidized sandstone is commonly referred to as a roll front. The roll front continues to move down dip as the groundwater continues to deliver additional oxygen and it reoxidizes and dissolves previously precipitated uranium and then re-precipitates the uranium when the oxygen is exhausted. Geologists refer to the oxidized sandstone as altered sandstone, uranium-bearing sandstone at the roll front, and the original reduced sandstone as unaltered sandstone. In the uranium in situ recovery process, the natural process that deposited the uranium in the sandstones is reversed. A modified groundwater solution is introduced to the uranium ore body through a pattern of injection wells. The solution dissolves the uranium from the sandstone deposit. The uranium bearing solution is recovered by a production well and then pumped to the surface and onto the processing facility for concentrating. The uranium is removed from the solution in a series of ion exchange columns. As the solution passes through the column, the uranium is absorbed onto millions of synthetic resin beads. The barren solution is returned to the injection well system and reused. Once fully loaded with uranium, the resin beads are transferred to another column to be regenerated. A saltwater solution draws the uranium off the resins and into the solution. In a multi-step chemical process, the uranium is precipitated as urinal peroxide or yellow cake slurry. The yellow cake slurry is then pumped to a filter for dewatering. The yellow cake solids are trapped by the filter cloth while the liquids pass through. The yellow cake is then washed with fresh water to rinse any dissolved contaminants from the filter cake. The filtered yellow cake is transferred to a vacuum dryer for further dewatering. The drying system is designed to have no emissions to the environment. The dried yellow cake product is packaged in steel drums for shipping to a refinery. After recovery operations are completed, the groundwater is restored to its initial quality through a series of treatment steps. Through all phases of the operation, well field operations, plant operations and restoration of the aquifer, compliance with existing rules and regulations are assured through rigorous oversight by various federal and state regulators. Before mining starts and throughout the life of the operation, monitor wells are used to observe the water quality above, below and within the mining zone. After the groundwater restoration is completed, the wells are plugged and the facilities are removed to return the site to pre-mine conditions. UR Energy is committed to assuring that the highest environmental, health and safety standards are followed throughout the life of mining at its facilities. In situ recovery of uranium has proven to be one of the safest and most environmentally friendly types of mineral extraction technologies known. UR Energy, your uranium powerhouse.